Uh, and yes, you've guessed it, get more shapes. So this one's a great big ellipse that goes down at the bottom of the page in here. So if I go to my ellipse tool, click on that. Um, I know the, shape, the size of the shape needs to be. So if I just left click here, the width of this needs to be 155 millimeters. Hit the tab key, um, 112 for the height. Click OK. Uh, and let's add a color to the inside of this, which is going to be paper. Press return, switch to my selection tool, drag this in here. So it's going to sit um, around about here. It is, we want to leave just enough room to uh, be able to see obviously this lady's face. And um, we've got a load of products that are going to be kind of showcased in here. Um, so we need enough room for that. Um, so that's going to run across here. We want the ellipse just to cut across the blue and the photograph. It will run across here a little bit. But if I just pull this back, around about here should be enough for us. Um, and again, then with this photograph here, um, I can unlock it with it selected, right click, choose a range and bring to front. And again, then with it selected, object and lock. That ad now goes in front of the white circle in there. Now, to be perfectly honest, you could just drop that advert in at the end as the very last thing, and it will then, by virtue of being added after everything else, be in front of everything else. So um, I'm kind of making life a bit hard for myself, really. Um, so we now have this region, which we're going to fill with products and a whole bunch of text as well. Uh, with that in mind, I'm going to go to the file menu and choose place. And then I've got these products here. So I've got this one. Um, I'm going to click on... Um, open. I'm going to click OK to that one. This one needs to be positioned just here. So I click and hold down the mouse. It's going to run across the very top of that uh, ellipse, just like so. And then click away from there. Again, it's a Photoshop that's had the background cut out of it. File, place, uh, some uh, shoe, uh, open, click OK. That's going to be immediately underneath the bag. So I click and drag here. Drop that in there. Just use the cursor keys to nudge it into position, like so. And then file, place. And then we've got these uh, nice macarons, which are very good. Click open. This is a Photoshop file, so notice the background has been faded out in there. Click OK. And click and drag and drop these in down at the bottom just here. I can click and drag and move these into position around about here. Um, so they're going to sit there. It's all going to be surrounded by lots and lots of text. Click away from there. Back to file and to place. And grab a picture of this lady in the dress. Click on open. Click OK. And then she needs to start around about here. Click and hold down the mouse. Drag down to the bottom uh, like so. And then move her level with the very bottom where the bleed line is. And then just pull that in to cover up that line in there. It's getting very too much, you know, too busy with all the lines crisscrossing over there. So that should neaten it up a little bit. Um, she could do to be a little bit bigger. So make sure that auto fit is turned on. And then um, using uh, the shift key to scale up, just make that image a little bit bigger in there. So that should give us a slightly cleaner edge in there, not too busy. So there we go. Um, and uh, oh, final thing as well, click on that one and then go to uh, my layers panel, drag that one. So that needs to be uh, dragged underneath layer three, which is the advert. And then uh, I can collapse those in there and then go to file and choose save. So yeah, this is a really, really busy page. Um, that's why it's uh, oh so very fiddly. Final image on the far right hand side, then may as well do that at the same time. Um, this is file and place again, as you're probably guessing by now. This picture here of the happy wedding couple. Uh, click OK. Click OK again. And then for this one, click and drag. Um, this one needs to be uh, 46 by 102. So the height, if I lock these together by turning auto fit, uh, just change that to about 100 in there. And then for the width, it needs to be a lot narrower for the width. I'm going to turn off auto fit and then just set this to be, well, I've got a value for this. So if I unlink the width and the height, 
And if I go for say 50, press return, and then I can hover over that image, click on the content grabber uh, to grab the image, leave the frame where it is and just nudge them into the middle of it. So we can see them cut the cake um, and then click away from that. Click back on that, add a stroke around the outside of that one, which will be uh, paper white, press return, increase the stroke weight in there to four points and add a drop shadow again. So back up to the top, FX, drop shadow. Um, and then I'm going to just reduce the distance in there to two, increase the softness, the size in there to two millimeters, and then drop this again down to about 40% in there. And we get that. Click OK. And then I'm going to uh, rotate that again uh, at the top up there, the rotation field. Um, that one needs to be um, rotated to uh, about four in there, minus four degrees. Drag that on. That's going to sit just up here, just like so. We can always reposition it afterwards, but that's roughly where all the image content needs to be. So um, next we need to focus on lots and lots of text with lots of outlines and lots of different colors. 